Vaccines have become the most controversial topic today for pediatricians and parents. Everyone's worried about vaccine side effects and reactions and how common are serious side effects. Well, we do know that vaccines can cause very severe neurologic reactions, but fortunately, these severe reactions are very rare. Research has shown that very severe vaccine reactions occur in about one out of every 100,000 doses. So parents can feel very confident that when they get vaccines, their children not only have a very small chance of suffering a very severe reaction. Now, there are some expected side effects from vaccines, some typical reactions that can occur that parents don't need to be concerned about, such as fever, a little bit of fussiness, Babies might not sleep quite as well or feed as well for a day or two. These are some expected reactions that don't cause any long-term harm. One type of severe reaction parents do need to watch out for is called encephalitis. This occurs when the vaccines are so irritating to a baby's nervous system that the brain swells a little bit and becomes a little bit inflamed. The babies will become extremely fussy will cry and scream for hours, the baby will experience very high fevers, and these symptoms will usually go on for two to three days. This is a fairly serious situation that parents should really seek their doctor's help and, and medical advice from. If, you're, if your baby does have this type of reaction, then you need to talk to your doctor about how to proceed with the next rounds of vaccines in a manner that might decrease the chance of having another episode of encephalitis. Because vaccines can cause some side effects, parents should talk to their doctor at each checkup to ask what reactions to watch for and what are some of the worrisome reactions that they should be aware of that should prompt a call or return visit in the next few days. Vaccines are very important and they have played a tremendous role in preventing and eliminating many diseases from our society. But parents should become educated about the pros and cons of vaccines and talk to their doctor about the potential reactions to watch out for.